The action by the His Excellency the President of appointing the tribunal was undertaken in breach of the orders of this court. That action may well be null and void and of no effect. It is as if it was never done in the first place. It is as if it never existed. In what would be the biggest test to the doctrine and spirit of separation of powers, the High Court has temporarily stopped a decision to probe under fire commissioners of the embattled Judicial Service Commission. Justice George Odunga has barred the swearing-in of Ringera Lake Tribunal, which was formed by President Uru Kenyatta to investigate the conduct of the six commissioners of the GSC over allegations of impropriety. The chairperson and members of the tribunal appointed by the Gazette Notice Number 15094 dated 29th of November 2013, are hereby barred from commencing the investigations into the conduct of the com commissioners the subject of the said Gazette notice. Justice Odunga at the same time blocked any probe against the commissioners in question until their case is heard and determined in court. It is therefore in the interest of the applicants, the tribunal and the public that the said tribunal be directed to hold its horses so as to remove the uncertainty in which the tribunal is likely to find itself as to whether it can safely proceed with action. The National Assembly, which debated the conduct of the six commissioners, despite a court order barring the move, found itself on the receiving hand during the ruling. Senior counsel Paul Muite, who is representing the JSC, dismissed reports that the under-fire commissioners declined to appear before parliament, insisting that the commission was not given enough time to respond to allegations raised against its commissioners. At no time did the JSC refuse to appear. It requested for time to develop a position because you can't just appear before the committee before you have done your homework. You go there with a memorandum. The judge directed the Chief Justice Dr. William Utunga to appoint a three-judge bench to hear the case. This comes just a day after members of the judiciary went to court seeking to revoke President Kenyatta's decision to suspend six commissioners of the JSC. The decision now puts the operation of the newly formed tribunal in the balance, opening up a new battlefront between the judiciary on one hand and parliament and the executive on the other. Eric Biegon reporting for the News Hour.